think we changed anything. We just, they had a good drive. Um, we just had to adjust from there, just mostly seeing what they was doing and then mostly just um, how we was going to attack it. And then mostly we just went out there and played and did our job. How did you assess the job you guys did against uh, their better receivers? Um, mostly we just tried to take away um, number four as much as we can. And I'll definitely say we did our job, even though he still had a hundred. That still was disappointing seeing that on the stat sheet. But um, we limit them from getting their explosive plays, them big throws that just changed the game for them. So we mostly limited those, and those was a huge. Um, without them having that, um, they didn't really have the success. I don't think anybody else had to play longer than twenty yards. Uh, I guess that's you can live with with one guy as long as as you take away everybody else. Oh um, yeah, that was mostly we mostly was trying to play him to take away him. And it mostly was the opposite. We was trying to take away him and let the other players make plays, but he still was ended up making plays, but it wasn't for far, so definitely was good for us. Can you can you set the table for us just how big this game is this weekend? Um, each game is um, big each week because you only can go 1-0 each week. So each game, we take it one step at a time and go 1-0 mindset each day. And how do you guys come down off of Friday and – you know, stay grounded despite all the success. Um, we have the um, mindset, I can't say it, but it still ain't. And so we keep that mindset in our, um, we get that refresh and always have that um, new car air freshener in the, um, what's it called, Prius. We mostly just have that mindset. So stay leveled with that. How would you describe the, the quarterback's game for BYU? Um, he's a good player. Um, we're going to keep going. Quarterback play is going to keep going up each week. So it's just mostly just seeing his um, tendencies, seeing what he looks at. So how we can distract him the best way we can to where he's not seeing our pitchers right away um, with disguising and just going out there and make a play. How important has their pass, has your guys' pass rush been to helping the back end? It seems like you've really gotten after the quarterback. Oh, yeah, it's been huge, especially last week, keeping that quarterback um, in the pocket where he's frustrated and not able to run and get them extra yards to scramble to throw. That was huge last week. So our I give all props to our pass rush. They've been getting back there. They've been um, getting back there mostly. Coach, 